Okay, today we're going to be looking at DSS Pro. Now they've brought out a new update which is 8.04 and one of these new features is soft triggers. Now soft triggers is an amazing new element. I wished it was there in the first place but it will literally allow you to control home automation and functionality of your DAWA equipment. So I have used my DSS Pro and with a certain amount of soft triggers also using IFTTT I've then of course actually rigged the game so I can actually turn on my garden lighting and my garage lighting all of those like um, home automated devices like um, like smart life for example I can actually then tell my DSS to tell my smart life to be able to turn lights on in the house so I think soft triggers is a excellent feature to this software and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you on my recorded screen here exactly what I've set up at the house uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing okay let, let's take a look so Let's go into live monitor and I'm going to just go to my first camera. Okay then, so on this camera here, I've rigged it so then that way the soft trigger shorts out the cameras normally open, normally closed on the camera itself and then of course uh, alarms the actual alarm input of the same device. Then being an active deterrent camera, I went logged into the camera and I said that if your normally open, normally closed is inverted, then of course say these keywords. Okay, so what I'll do is I'd engage my microphone here. Quality should be okay. There's me talking out in the street. And then I'm just going to press my soft trigger. No parking here. Okay, no parking here. So of course that was one, okay. No, no, no problems there. Right, now we're going to have to go into the messy garage here. So let's go into the garage. Okay, very messy garage. Okay, right. Soft trigger, garage lights on. Now take a second or so for all of these uh, different types of communication to communicate. But let's see, in a second or so, then of course the lights will turn on in the actual garage. There we go, lights on. And of course that was a black and white image, so infrared. Now that's gonna change into full color. So we can see how much more messy the garage is. Okay, perfect. And then garage lights off. Couple of seconds each time. Off, okay. So my DSS Pro just then communicated with Smart Life my smart life then communicated with my internet switch and then of course that internet switch is responsible for controlling the illumination in the actual garage between garage lights on and off. Let's do another one. So let's go into TOC2 and I'm just gonna zoom into this lantern across the way. Did I press the button there? There we go, garden lights on. Now, because I actually have this on my DSS Pro, I also have this on the DSS Agile 8. Now, if I go to the garage on my DSS Agile, I will be able to scroll down, click on soft triggers, I will then see the words garage lights on, garage lights off, and I will be able to trigger this from my mobile phone as well. So, of course, I, we really have brought in automation into our DSS Pro. Okay, so as you can see, that was massively impressive. You know, now I can actually use my mobile phone to literally control all of my automated devices in the house. If I add enough soft triggers, I can then set the actual code or set the command to actually change the lighting around the TV. So I think it's an absolutely brilliant feature. DSS Pro, because using IFTTT, can of course obviously connect to a thousand of different type of third-party automation systems. There's a large list here now that you can see. And of course, I think for DSS version 8.04, this is an excellent feature. Okay, so I will continue to create new DSS videos. This new version 8.04 does have a few new perks to it as well that I think you should know. So in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.